All right, head coach Ben Olson. Ben, uh, end of the regular season there. Nice, exciting way to end it in front of a sellout crowd and uh, fifth seed uh, at the end of the day facing Seattle in the round one. Yeah, it feels good to get the three points, in particular the dramatic way we did. Uh, a fun game, uh, you know. It's uh, uh, we 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 aim to entertain here, and I think it was a very entertaining game and a, a packed house. And uh, this is uh, these are the the great nights. These are the ones you remember. Uh, you know, again, it uh, had a playoff atmosphere. It was a, a great game for us uh, to prep, kind of a dress rehearsal for the playoffs because we were playing such a talented team. And that game could, you know, you, you guys watched the game. It could have went either way. Uh, they're so dangerous in transition. I thought we did, a, for the most part, a good job against just a nasty attacking team. Um, and uh, it was, a, again, just a, a, a really good night. And so we'll enjoy it. Uh, someone told me we 53 points or 50, 54, 54 50 points, record. and that's a new club record. So, you know, again, we're, we're continuing to build things here that uh, hopefully are sustainable, uh, but are putting some flags down that, that we're, we're here to stay. And uh, uh, again, but what, what I'm most happy about is uh, uh, the crowd tonight. Was, uh, the energy in there was fantastic. You know, how can we replicate that? And, and put that atmosphere because it really fuels us uh, both staff and, and the players and, and pushes us and that's why we can push towards the end uh, because of the energy in that building so it was a uh, great night uh, Tuesday we'll you know we'll, we'll get away for a day or two and uh, decompress and then Tuesday we hit hit the ground and then the fun begins oh, so with Herman in the middle here Hey, Ben, congrats on the win tonight. Thank you. Speaking of records and sustainability, a record for yourself uh, with that, tonight's win, 29 wins in a two-year span, making that a record for the Houston Dynamo, surpassing uh, Dominic Kinnear, which is a legendary coach for the club. Your well, thoughts on that? Well, it means uh, I, I, I didn't know that. Um, I, I don't get caught up in, in my records. Uh, uh, it gives me a chance to give a shout-out to Dominic Kinnear, though, and what a, what a great coach he is. And, influence he want to influence he's had on me and, and this club so uh, thank you for you know that and you know to, but uh he's a he's a great coach all right and the second one speak on the importance of going into the playoffs with this type of momentum you know a win against the number one seed or number two now and the way you got the win you know how does that boost the team and the team's coming in hot into the playoffs? what i what I wanted out, of, what we wanted out of tonight is a win, and again to play entertaining and, and uh, send the f fans home happy. But the other side of this was was rhythm and form, and because it's been choppy the last month, this is the first time we've had kind of a group, that group together, or in particular Hector coming back in. Uh, so that was really the most important thing. It's why we rested Mikael last weekend because he had a yellow card. It's why we've been making some changes because we wanted the best group possible for this game because it's important to uh, for us because it's been so choppy to to get that rhythm and get those minutes uh, together before going to Seattle. And uh, uh, overall, it was pretty good. Still a lot to clean up. You know, there's still. Again, at the, at, the, at the highest levels, when you play a team like this, there's just so many moments that we have to do better if we're really going to uh, hoist the cup. And my last question is, speak on Hector's performance tonight and his substitution, uh, Brooklyn Reigns, and the impact he made off the bench. Well, that's two in a row for Brooklyn. Let me get that out of the way. Uh, I thought he was great in St. Louis, and I thought he put uh, a, a, another really good 50 minutes against arguably the, one of the best teams in the league. Uh, so this is a big step for him. And uh, Hector was Hector. He doesn't. He's not. I don't know why we would be surprised if he was anything but Hector. You know, he doesn't forget just because he's out a few weeks. He doesn't forget how to play the game of soccer, and he's just uh, a, a big influence this year. Hey, coach. A few records set for you this year, on top of the one he mentioned. How would you describe the season in one word and your breakdown on it? Uh, not done yet. That's three words. Uh, so, uh, we'll, I, I, you know, you're so focused on this goal at the end of a season, and uh, it's really, 
you know, that's success, right, is to hold a trophy. And we haven't done that. So the records are nice. And, and I do think there are some – and we're putting some flags down as we, as we grow, as, a, uh, as this project grows. And we're trying to – we talk about sustainability and, and, and making this um, thing grow. And when you have these growth moments or these – records and points and things like that it's good it means we're moving in the right direction uh, but ultimately we all just want we want that one night of glory uh, so once we get there uh, once we get into next next week we, we won't be thinking about any of that stuff looking ahead you guys have Seattle and based on the stats it hasn't been an easy one to conquer what can you tell us about your next rival well just that they're, they're a very very difficult team but you know again I, I don't we're pretty good, you know, and we got some moxie, and I, I don't, you know, over the last two years, those type of hurdles have come up a lot. Like, oh, we don't win in Austin. We've never won here and this, and the team takes that stuff personal, and sometimes we we uh, uh, we end up jumping over those hurdles, and, and uh, hopefully this will be one of them. It's a tough place to play, but we'll be, uh, we'll, 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 we'll be at our best. And then they have to come here. And so that's uh, looking forward to it. We'll go up front in the, in the blue up here. Sorry. And then Rudy at the back. Congratulations on the win. And I, on a personal note, I haven't seen this much excitement team and fan base since Dominique. And I mm -hmm. guess I'll go back that far since Dominique was here. So congratulations on that, and you guys did an excellent job. Thank you. Um, I was going to ask you about the penalty, because because uh, did, you, did, you, did, you, did you see, I saw you on the sideline. Did you know that was a, that they were going to No, we, we didn't know. Um, we thought it was a pretty good tackle, even going back. Yeah, I think it's one of those you can call, you can not call. And there was, you know, Eric got tugged in a, on a set piece uh, before that, you know, maybe 10 minutes before it was, that's a penalty too. So I, I don't know. I, I didn't wasn't sure whether he was going to let things play tonight or let let it go. In the end, uh, you, you know, t look, I, I, t to to beat LA Galaxy, I think you need to score two goals. <laughs> Frank, I think their attack is that good. So we we dodged a bullet or two here and there, and so you know maybe they 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 earned a goal on the night. I mean their expected goals was two point two two. That's that's pretty good. So, uh, but. To your question, I thought it was soft. I, I didn't think he needed to call it in particular because he was letting some stuff go on the other end. Also, um, just talking about the match itself and going into Seattle, that, I know, I know it's, it's, that's, that's another week in, in the making, but um, this, team, this team right now is, is pretty much set on coming back, and they're, they're, they're playing as a unit, and that's what you wanted all season. Yeah, the, the, group, the, the group is great. Uh, you know, I think we we know who we are right now. We uh, we know when we we get away from ourselves, and I think the, when the playoffs hit, that's why I liked playing LA Galaxy tonight because the, the the focus and the work rate and and all the little things that you have to do to be successful in the playoffs, uh, you're tested against a team like LA Galaxy. And overall, we held up. Uh, but it's also an opportunity for us to look at this film early in the week and really show them, look, this is where we could have got hit. This is and grow a little bit from from this game playing this type of caliber team. Uh, Seattle's a, a different, a different. They, they play uh, stylistically uh, uh, a hair different than LA, but uh, they're just their their defense is solid, and it's going to be a very very tough matchup. Good. All right, we'll go to Rudy, yeah, and then David up front. Hey, Coach, congrats okay. on the win. Um, soccer's an emotional sport, obviously. Just Could you just tell us a little bit uh, or describe that emotional shift from conceding uh, that, that tie and then minutes later, you know, scoring the winner? Yeah, th these, these games are rare when that happens, and to have it uh, against them, in our building in a packed house uh, on fan appreciation night is it's a I think it's a special game and it's one we're going to remember I think for a, for a long time here. And then on the go itself, um, how does it feel 
just seeing your full bags link up and, and what does that say about the, the effort the team is putting in? Yeah, you know, Dan, you know, let's talk about Dan for a second. I mean, Griffin had a, a good night, but actually from a service standpoint, uh, you know, a few of them were blocked and he uh, wasn't, he wasn't connecting on a lot of final balls. Uh, some good service, but it just didn't happen. So it was, and we've worked a lot on this, we, you know, the, the final product and uh, scoring goals and, and, and getting the right service on, getting the numbers in the box and making your own luck. And uh, so I was happy for Griffin to get that, uh, the service off. And then Dan, Dan's actually really uh, an impressive uh, guy in the air. He always been, has been, and he can score goals. He's done that for this club. He smells it, uh, he smells danger. Uh, and he's he's athletic and he's got good balance and control with his body. Uh, so in the air, he, he's uh, it, once once I saw him get a step on it, uh, I thought we had a chance. And uh, I'm just happy for him. He's played for LA, so kind of played for Galaxy a little bit. So I'm sure that felt a little bit more special than your average goal for him. Thanks, coach. Yeah, David up front. Hi, Ben. Congratulations on the win. Thanks. I want to ask you, how do you think the defense did tonight against the transition of the Galaxy? OK. You know, as, as, as good as you can, I think. Uh, there were still so many actions, though, where the level is, you know, whether it's paint still speed, Peck, the way he comes downhill at you. And as he's coming downhill, he's so shifty. But what I loved about it, it was a group effort. You know, we didn't leave Dan isolated too much. We didn't leave Griffin isolated that much. It was always someone, whether it's a center back shifting, whether it's Artie or Hector coming over to help, or Brooklyn, uh, a, a double down with Ibra or, or Coco. There's just a lot of effort. And when you play, you know, we talked all week about it. When you play in LA Galaxy, you got to work. You got to work your tails off collectively. It's not a day where you, you, you can. Uh, uh, any one player can take off because, again, things happen so quickly. Uh, the active defending component was good. Uh, w we have to get better at that. There's still some moments where uh, we we're just a, a little bit asleep as we're attacking and, and, and not uh, the structure behind the ball wasn't good enough. But overall, it was pretty good. And then tonight, I'm not sure who led the team in shots, but Sviachenko had plenty of them, right? What do you think has led to this moment of him having that many shots? Uh, I don't. Uh, he, he attempted a bicycle kick, was which wasn't very pretty. Um, we'll have to give him some. Uh, he's been great, uh, Eric. You know, listen, since Eric got to this club, instantly he's changed. Uh, he's helped change our culture and helped change our defensive structure. So he's been great, and uh, we know he can score goals. He was, he's dangerous on set pieces. He's starting to hit the net. Uh, and that's a, that's a good thing for us. You know, the set pieces have been uh, very, very much improved this year on the offensive end. And over the last couple of months, defensively, we've gotten better at that. So that, that you know, we, we get another set piece goal today, and that's going to be important in the playoffs. Anyone else? We'll go over there, wrap it up on that side. Hello, coach. Congratulations for the win. Thanks. Uh, I'll have a question. Uh, who was the player that surprised you the most from LA Galaxy? You know, this is our first time I think we saw Paints Hill, right? He was out uh, when we played them. So his speed is on another level. Uh, his ability to run behind and also with the ball, is it's, it's pretty impressive. Uh, Peck, we saw. I, He's, he's nasty. Um, so those two are, are really holes that they filled on that team. And it's why they're one of the best teams in the league is, uh, you know, we all know what Pooj does. He dominates a game and he's a, 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 an MVP caliber player in this league. But now they have these weapons out wide uh, as in the past they could you know, they rely on Pooj to get them to the goal. Uh, but now they have guys out wide where if you really squeeze the middle, now they have isolation out wide that's just at a really high level. So they're a tough team. It's a tough team to beat. But we did it. Thank you, Coach. Wrap it up there. All right. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. We'll have Daniel in here next.